The TV series Combat from 1962 is about American soldiers in World War II. It's really good at showing what life was like for these soldiers, including the tough parts and how they all stuck together. This show isn't just about fighting and drama, it's more about making the soldiers seem like real people that viewers can understand. While watching, you might find yourself going through a lot of different feelings because of the different kinds of scenes in the show. Some are funny, some are really surprising, and others are so sad they might make you cry. It's the kind of show that sticks in your mind even after you're done watching it. Thinking about this, we're curious if there's a special scene or moment from combat that you remember well. Maybe it's something that made you laugh, a big surprise, or a really touching scene. This show has a way of leaving a mark. We'd love to hear if the show has a special place in your heart. Did it change something in your life, help you bond with someone, or was it just a great show you enjoyed with others? Share your stories and memories with us. The show is still popular because it's honest about how war affects people. It mixes drama, action, and feelings in a way that keeps people interested. So, what's your story? Combat was a unique TV show from the early 1960s known for its realistic portrayal of war. It was set after D-Day in France and followed with a group of American soldiers led by Sergeant Saunders. What made this series different was that it didn't make war look glamorous. Instead, it showed wood soldiers as real people who were often tired, confused, and imperfect. The show focused on each soldier's personal battles and how they worked together as a team. This approach made it easy for viewers and their families to connect with the characters and understand what life was like during wartime. The series had a good mix of action and stories about the characters. While some episodes like the one where Saunders fights a tank by himself were less realistic, the overall quality of writing, direction, acting, and production was high for that time. The main actors, including Vic Morrow as Sergeant Saunders, Rick Jason as Lieutenant Hanley, and others like Jack Hogan, Pierre Jalbert, Dick Peabody, and Kenlan Carter, played their roles well. Also, the way German soldiers were shown speaking their own language added a touch of realism, even if sometimes it was a bit overdone. In short, Combat was a TV show that combined exciting scenes with deep looks into its characters, all set during World War II. It was dedicated to showing the real side of war and did so with high-quality production. It's remembered as a classic in war dramas, showing Hollywood's ability to mix entertainment with a meaningful look at history. Pierre Jalbert, initially a technician in the film editing department at MGM, transitioned into acting without prior experience when he was cast as PFC. Paul Cage Lemay This transition highlights the unconventional casting choices in the show, bringing a fresh perspective to the character development. Shecky Green, known for his Las Vegas performances, faced a financial setback when he decided to appear in an episode. His involvement in the show, despite the cost, underscores the commitment and passion the actors had for their roles, often prioritizing artistic expression over financial gain. Paul Bush, who appeared in 33 episodes, portrayed various German soldiers and officers. His characters frequently met their demise, which added a sense of continuity and realism to the portrayal of the enemy. This recurring presence underlines the show's attention to detail in representing the human aspect of both sides in the conflict. These elements contribute to the show's unique approach to storytelling and character portrayal, setting it apart from other war dramas of its time. The commitment of the actors and the creative decisions made behind the scenes played a significant role in bringing authenticity and depth to the series. In an episode titled Cat and Mouse, Sergeant Saunders, portrayed by Vic Morrow, humorously claims he was a shoe salesman before the war. This remark is made in response to a frustrated sergeant who criticizes his men for being timid, likening them to shoe clerks. The context suggests Saunders' comment might be sarcastic, aimed at lightening the mood in a tense situation. The series title includes a distinct exclamation point designed to resemble a bayonet. This choice of punctuation adds a visual element of warfare to the title, subtly conveying the show's military theme. Vic Morrow and Rick Jason shared the spotlight in the series, leading to a unique approach in the opening credits. Depending on the episode, either Morrow or Jason would be listed first. This arrangement didn't necessarily reflect the prominence of their roles in that particular episode. It was an unusual method for a television series, emphasizing the equal importance of both characters in the narrative. 
This approach to character prominence and the distinctive aspects of the series title demonstrate the show's innovative approaches in storytelling and visual design. These elements, combined with a strong commitment shown by the cast and crew, contributed to the series' lasting appeal and its reputation as a realistic and engaging portrayal of World War II soldiers. In the TV show, Lieutenant Hanley started as a lower-ranked officer, but worked his way up to becoming a lieutenant as the story went on. This change showed how his character grew and brought more excitement to the show, highlighting how people could move up in ranks during war. Charlie Callis, a comedian who really liked the series, had a special interest in it. He asked for the M1 carbine gun used by Rick Jason's character, Lieutenant Hanley. Jason understood how much this meant to Callis, so he made the gun safe and gave it to him. Callis was very proud of this piece of TV history and show would it off above his bar at home. After Callis died, no one knows where this famous prop went, which adds to the show's lasting popularity and impact. The series was first shown on Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m. It was up against big shows like NBC's Laramie, CBS's Gunsmoke, and The Lloyd Bridges Show. Even with such tough competition, the show managed to attract its own viewers, proving it was good and could hold its own in a busy TV market. These parts of the show, from Lieutenant Hanley's growth to the fun facts about Charlie Callas and the timing of when it aired, all add to the show's interesting history. They give us more insight into how the show affected its viewers and the relationship between TV shows and their audiences. Sergeant Saunders' helmet in the series was notable for its unique appearance. Contrary to what some viewers believed, it wasn't covered with a Marine Corps cover. Instead, it featured a piece of nylon cut from a U.S. paratrooper's camouflaged T-5 main parachute canopy. This detail added a layer of authenticity to the character's appearance and differentiated him from other portrayals of military personnel in media. The series caught the attention of Hollywood for a potential big-screen adaptation. Bruce Willis was considered for the role of Sergeant Chip Saunders. However, plans for this film adaptation never came to fruition. This unmade project remains a point of interest for fans, illustrating the enduring appeal of the series and its characters. Another notable aspect of the series was the weaponry used by the characters. Private Kirby, for instance, started carrying the Browning automatic rifle early in the first season. This weapon, equipped with a bipod, was a 3006 machine gun. His continued use of the BR. Throughout the series not only added realism to his character, but also showcased the diversity of firearms used by soldiers during World War II. These specific details, from the unique helmet of Sergeant Saunders to the proposed feature film and the realistic portrayal of weaponry, contributed to the show's reputation for authenticity. They reflect the care taken in production to create a believable and engaging portrayal of World War II soldiers, adding depth to the series beyond its narrative and character development.